Wondering which hearing aid brands have the best rechargeable aids? Well, in this video, I'm covering my top rechargeable hearing aids heading into 2018. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting that subscribe button. Rechargeable hearing aids have been around for a while now, but they've really taken a step forward since the end of 2016. And throughout 2017, we've seen all of the major six manufacturers actually come out with rechargeable hearing aid options. In light of this, I wanted to create a video to discuss my top four rechargeable hearing aid options as we head into 2018. Before I start getting into the different types of rechargeable hearing aids, we should really have a good understanding of what the three different types of rechargeable hearing aid batteries are. The first one is Nickel Metal Hydride. This rechargeable battery option has actually been around for a while now and was commonly used in Siemens rechargeable hearing aids. One of the nice things about this type of battery is that you could interchange it with a disposable battery. So if you happen to run out of battery life at some point in the day and you needed some more battery to get you through the rest of the day, you really could break out a disposable battery. Next came the silver zinc batteries, and these batteries were really made popular by Z-Power. The company Z-Power really started to push these type of rechargeable batteries and actually retrofit them onto existing hearing aid brands. They have a little bit better battery life than a nickel metal hydride battery, but you still run into the same issue potentially if you don't get a full day's charge out of it. And just like nickel metal hydride, you can exchange these with disposable batteries inside of a hearing aid if it doesn't get you that full day's charge. The newest rechargeable hearing aid battery option on the market is the lithium ion. And you're probably familiar with the lithium ion batteries because this is the type of battery that has been charging your cell phones for years. The great thing about them is that they actually give you longer battery life and a reduced charging time. On top of that, these batteries last actually longer in years compared to the silver zinc battery or the nickel metal hydride battery. If we look at a comparison chart, you can see that the lithium ion batteries outperform nickel metal hydride and silver zinc in basically every category. The key differences are the time it takes for a battery to recharge, how many times you can recharge the batteries, expected lifetime of the batteries in years, and the self discharge rate, which indicates the drain of a battery when it's not in use. So now that you have a good idea of the different rechargeable battery types, let's take a look at my favorite rechargeable hearing aids. Number four is the Starkey Muse. The Starkey Muse hearing aid uses the Z-Power conversion kit in order to take the regular Starkey Muse and convert it into a rechargeable one. With a rechargeable Muse hearing device, you can actually get up to about 22 hours worth of battery life, assuming you're not gonna stream any music or TV or anything like that into the aid, and assuming that you have the weakest power receiver for someone who doesn't have as severe of a hearing loss. The reason this hearing aid came in at number four and not higher on the list is for a couple different reasons. First is, is that it's not the made for iPhone version of Starkey hearing aid. That is the Halo device. The other thing is, is that it can't be converted in office by your hearing care professional. It actually has to either be ordered with the rechargeable option or that hearing aid needs to be sent back to Starkey for them to retrofit it with the correct battery door and rechargeable battery. One of the other negatives outside of that is that because the rechargeable battery only lasts about a year, you need to get a new battery annually and that can really eat up the savings that you thought that you were going to get by having a rechargeable battery. Now there is some exciting news that just came out of Starkey and that's that here in February of 2018, they're actually coming out with their lithium version of the Starkey Muse. What Starkey is saying is that this new lithium hearing aid is actually going to get you 30 hours of battery life, which includes the ability to stream. It'll be 30% smaller than their other hearing device, and it's going to be able to be compatible with their cross technology, which is great for individuals who have single sided deafness. My third favorite rechargeable hearing aid is the Resound Lynx 3D. Now there are a lot of Resound Lynx 3D models, but it's only for the receiver in the ear 961, 761, and 561 models. 
Similar to the Starkey hearing aid, it's actually a conversion with the Z-Power rechargeable kit. The really cool thing is, is that the Lynx line of hearing devices are compatible with direct to iPhone technology. However, this does come with its negatives being in that if you are streaming for two plus hours a day, you're probably gonna be getting below 14 hours worth of battery life a day. Nonetheless, the rechargeable Lynx 3D hearing aid option is a really good one. My second favorite rechargeable hearing aid heading into 2018 is the Oticon Open Hearing Aid. Yes, the extremely popular Oticon Open Hearing Aid is now rechargeable with the conversion with the Z-Power kit. The great thing about this conversion is that your audiologist or your hearing care professional can actually change the battery doors to the rechargeable battery door and put in the rechargeable batteries for you so it doesn't actually have to be sent back to the manufacturer. Of course, the Oticon Open Hearing Aid is made for direct connection to an iPhone. Of course, this also has a draining nature on the rechargeable battery. Uh, you can get up to 19.5 hours worth of battery life if you don't do any streaming, and then it can pull you down into that, you know, 15, 14, 13 hours of battery life if you spend a couple hours a day streaming from the phone or from the TV streamer. That being said, you really can't go wrong with an Oticon open hearing aid, and it's just a nice additional perk to be able to have it be rechargeable. And my number one favorite rechargeable hearing aid as we head into 2018 is actually a tie. It's a tie between the Phonak Audeo BR and the Phonak Bolero B PR rechargeable hearing aids. The reason I like them so much is because they use the lithium ion battery technology which gets you longer battery life, shorter charging times, uh, ability to stream for longer on one charge, ability to have the same battery in the device for up to four years. Um, and it's just really nice not to have to fumble with any kind of batteries or battery door or anything like that. If there is something that happens to the battery within your warranty period, they change out the battery for you with no additional cost. If you listen to me talk about the benefits of lithium ion batteries versus the other types of rechargeable batteries, it's probably clear to you why I'm such a big fan of the lithium technology. But it doesn't really stop there. Phonak has also given you the ability to take your recharger kit on the road with you by having a power pack that you can plug into the bottom of the recharger. This will give you seven additional charges on top of not even needing to have it plugged into the wall, so it really makes it a good travel option. They also have a mini recharger that you can take and maybe keep at work or something like that. Now, there is the possibility that even though you are getting longer charges on these devices or longer battery life on these devices, if you need to recharge throughout the day, it's super easy because in 15 to 30 minutes, you can add six hours worth of battery life onto the devices, which will more than likely get you through the rest of the day. In fact, if you look at this picture here, you can see that in terms of charging time, it only takes 30 minutes to get that six hours worth of battery life, one hour to give you 12 hours worth of battery life, and in order to get the full 24 hours, you only need to charge it for three. Now it's not all good with the Phonak rechargeable hearing devices. Every hearing aid somehow has some little drawbacks that make it not absolutely perfect. And in the case of the Phonak rechargeable hearing devices, if you do go for a long period of time throughout that day and you're streaming a bunch of stuff, whether it's TV or music, and then you're going out at night and you run out of battery and you don't have access to a charger for 15 to 30 minutes, then you can't exchange your batteries with disposable batteries. So you'll actually kind of be up a creek, so to speak, and not be able to use your hearing aids if they run out of battery. There you go, those are my favorite rechargeable hearing aids as we go into 2018. And I do just wanna give out a quick shout out or an honorable mention to the Signia Celion hearing aids. They are a rechargeable hearing aid that also use lithium ion technology. Uh, if you're not familiar with Signia, it's because it was formerly known as Siemens. And I have worked with Siemens in the past, but I have not had a chance to work with their Celion hearing aid. So I really couldn't include it in this list. Okay, so now that we're done going over the rechargeable hearing aid options, I feel like it's really important that you understand that 
The same thing goes with rechargeable hearing aids as it does with traditional hearing aids. The absolute best rechargeable hearing aid for you is the one that is fit appropriately to your hearing loss. And when I say that, I mean that they're actually being fit and programmed correctly, and one of the biggest components of that is having real ear measurements performed on those hearing aids while they're in their ears. I'm gonna link in a card up here a video that I did about real ear measurements, and I absolutely recommend that you check out that video. I will also link it in the description below because that is the number one factor that will dictate how much success you have with your rechargeable hearing aid. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.